Today, myself and I are off on a few little uh, adventures. So first, I need to get new gloves because it is way too hot to be driving around with these. I'm gonna take a look in the Royal Enfield shop. We're going to Chateau de Falais, where uh, I think William the Conqueror was either born or died or was crowned king or conquered or something. But we'll find out when we get there. It's about 30 kilometers away or so. And today's supposed to be quite hot again, as I said, so just as well. Ooh. Some fat tired bicycles. Anyways, no luck in the shop there. Good selection, but they were closing for lunch at 12. C'est fermé. Uh, onto one last motorcycle shop that Nime knows. And hopefully, get some summer gloves. Just, you know, I'd be tempted to even just get a pin, stick a load of holes in it. But uh, I'd imagine that would uh, affect the structural integrity of it in the event of a crash. Right, the tape. Together. Does it need fire? What? Does it need fire? Yeah. Is that on purpose or...? Farming uh, land. Ah, uh, yeah. Now we just whether it can just go and figure it. That's over. Yeah. I just can't fathom how pleasant this all is, you know? Uh, despite the heat, which I think today is the crux of the heat wave, or yesterday was, so it'll be getting cooler from here on out. This is just lovely, you know? Nice big roads as well. Ooh. Bit of <laughs> off-roading adjacent. Oh. <laughs> Hot. Is that fire? It was crazy the fire. Yeah, I you saw that. What do you remind me of? Yeah. I don't know if you've seen, but it reminds me of the info scene in uh, Interstellar. In what film? In Interstellar, the movie. What's that? No. Interstellar. Oh, Interstellar, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, if I don't understand something, put on your biggest American accent. <laughs> Interstellar, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like in four ways, like dust and fields and yeah. fires and... Oh. Kind of spooky that uh, yeah. we're going living in those times. Nice. Yeah, yours is a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So we're doing a little swap. Um, of the bullets. Shall I lead the way yeah. as I have this? Hey. Okay. Different feel altogether. Now Nine said on his bike it's a uh, the standard bike has a 17 front sprocket teeth whereas this one has 19 so it'll cruise at a higher speed uh, 90 kilometers an hour I believe and as you can see it's a younger bike than old Daisy 
but not younger, but uh, less travel, but that won't be for long. He has the exhaust that I used to have on mine on it. But uh, he has a different bracket actually, so that might have been why mine kept snapping brackets, because the wrong bracket was on. I feel it's a bit lighter, but again, it is carrying uh, less. It doesn't have all my panniers with full of water. Smashing though. His suspension, a lot, uh, what would you say, tighter. Mine is quite soft, whereas his quite uh, taut, tight, not in a bad way or anything. He said he changed his fork oil recently and it was like a new bike after. Uh, fortunately she has the same uh, speed difference as mine does compared to traffic systems. Good braking. Clutch is a lot, uh, <laughs> I think the piece is a bit uh, different to mine. Feels nice. Non ABS model as well, of course, they're twins. Now, I love my Mickey Mouse mirrors. But there is something freeing about having such a wide open viewport in front of you. Flip. More fires. It's pretty scary. As you know, there's a lot of wildfires going on in forests in France at the moment. Or when this video was made. Uh, hopefully it's all under control and there wasn't too much damage after. I probably would stay on the bike for longer but the map seems to have closed so uh, I'll find somewhere up ahead to pull in. Fabulous sound though. Okay. I would pull in there, but there's a tractor which I presume is going to want to pull into rightly so. No? Okay. Next turn off. It might just be the exhaust, but it's, it certainly feels a little more powerful. Uh, I'd imagine Sprocka and the exhaust, and he's a different air filter. Maybe just a the, the little bit more. It's lovely. He also keeps his bike in a lot better condition than I keep poor old Daisy. I think she'll need a long, long, uh, not break, but a um, bit of maintenance and TLC when I get home. Seat's comfy though. This is the default bullet seat. As opposed to the single seat, it's the sort of bench. A little brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
and maybe when it comes time to change the sprocket, I might change it to a 18 tooth one rather than the standard 17. Just have that little more go at 80. Um, I don't mind the vibration so much myself, but as I intend to ride this for the next, well, however long I live, and however long petrol is a viable means of transport, might be good when the sprocket change comes to get something that's less vibey on my old bones. Anyways, we're about 10 kilometers from Chateau du Fallet. The Chateau du Fallet's and a uh, scorcher of a day again. If you're doing France in the July heat, water. You need it. Hey, welcome to Feliz. Où est le château, s'il vous plaît? C'est à droit. Peut-être. Oh, wow. What a view! Now I think before we head into the castle a bit of water would be good. What a lovely old town. Wow. Yeah, sounds good. And, uh, yeah. Probably down this street? Yeah, I'm sure we got to find a base here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Well, unfortunately at this point in the video the audio stopped working on the GoPro so I'll have to do some actual narration. I usually prefer the off the cuff style while I'm driving narration because it means that I have an excuse to not be 100% accurate in what I'm talking about. Not that I'm about to be 100% accurate anyways, but sure look it. Welcome to Falaise, a commune in Normandy and the site of the birthplace of William the Conqueror or William le Conqueron as he's known in French, possibly, if I said that right. Seen astride his horse outside, he is famous for conquering England after the Battle of Hastings. He eventually died in 1087 and was buried in Caen, or Caen, at Abbey aux Homs, which I forgot to go in for a look at when I was there. Whoops. But to get back to the start of his life, he was born in 1028 at an earlier castle on the same site, and the castle, Chateau de Falaise, gives the name to the town. Falaise means cliff, because the castle is built on a cliff, and that's why the castle is called Chateau de Falaise, funnily enough. The castle is from the 12th century and was handed down to William's heirs until eventually being captured by King Philip II of France. It changed hands many times during the Hundred Years' War and eventually was deserted in the 17th century. During the Second World War, the castle was damaged in a bombardment but the keeps or donjons were unscathed. The castle is now in the care of the city of Falaise. If you're not afraid of heights, the tower provides an excellent view over the city of Falaise and the surrounding Norman countryside and it was well equipped to handle a medieval siege with its many guard posts, solid ramparts and base of stone. In the event of a siege, water could be drawn from a well within the tower which is well for them. Also well for them, in the same room carved onto a step, the guards had carved a board for playing al Kirki, forgive the pronunciation, which is a board game very similar to the modern checkers. Nowadays the castle hosts many medieval themed festivals, music nights, and is open year round from 10 till 6 and tickets are around eight euro fifty for an adult. Go on and visit sure if you're there. And speaking of go on, go on your merry way now. We'll call this video here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to Falaise and cheeky spin on Names Bike. Let me know what you thought. And next we'll be taking a spin down the Loire Valley. But for now, I'll talk to you. Bye. Bye.